Let's take a look at how you can use the Zonal Statistics tool in QGIS to calculate populations for any area you want. Now this is quite similar to how you can use the NASA CDAC Population Estimation Service to calculate populations. So if I zoom to roughly the Mexico City area, we do have an official boundary for Mexico City, but if I want to go on here, I can create any shape I want to. And this is quite useful because sometimes we want to know populations of areas that do not match administrative boundaries. And this population estimation service is calculating the population for the area I just drew. And it gives us a total population in 2020 of 22.7 million. Now, this uses one data set, NASA's CDAC gridded population of the world, but there are many sources and you can do this in QGIS. So I will show you how. The first thing you need to do is go to World Pop and we're gonna get some data here. If I go to the home page and then data, and then I can go to population counts. And then we have population counts for the world or individual countries. There's loads of different options here. So you just need to read what they are, but I'm gonna choose the unconstrained individual countries 20, uh, 2000 to 2020 at one kilometer resolution. You do, you know, when, you, when you're looking at data, it's useful if you read the information about it, but you won't get vastly different results using these data sets uh, if you choose a slightly different version. They're just slightly different calculations. So I'm gonna use the unconstrained individual countries 2000 to 2020 one km resolution. And in this case, the easiest thing to do is go to the search box and type in where you're looking for. In my case, I'm looking for Mexico. You can get data for individual years, but I'm gonna go down to 2020 hit the data and resources button and I see the data and the one I want is the aggregated TIFF. So the TIFF file is a raster data set. The XYZ zipped file is points, individual points with population data in it. So I'm gonna click on the TIFF. I'm gonna save it to my uh, own computer now. Okay, because I'm using Chrome, it has downloaded and it shows me it in the bottom left of my browser window so I can just drag and drop it straight in to either the layers panel or the map canvas and my data appears there. What can I do here? Well I will just view QGIS and there's a couple of things to say if you want to add the data a different way you can do it via the open data source manager button and then raster and then browse to where your file is but I just like to drag and drop. Don't worry if you see a really high value in the layers panel that's not a problem you can just zoom to any area and if you use the eye information tool and click on the map on the right hand side you'll get a value of the population in any given cell but because it's all black at the moment it's hard to see where the people are so I'll double click on it I'll change it from single brand gray in symbology to single band pseudo color the maximum value here I would just typically change this to 20,000 and then I'll hit apply and okay. And then we have a much better sense of where the population is. I'll do that again. And let's just change this maximum value to 5,000 and hit okay. And if I zoom in to say around Mexico City and click any individual cell there, we can see that in band one, it says how many people are in that cell. So now let me just move to the next step we're going to create a new shape so that we can use it to calculate the population within it and to do that we're going to click on new shape file layer the file name is going to be i'll call this one uh, mexico shape one i'll save it as a shape file that's fine hit save Geometry type is going to be polygon. I'll leave it as a default coordinate reference system and I'll click OK. And now I'm going to edit this shape file by selecting it and hitting the toggle editing button. You can right click a layer and choose toggle editing instead if you want to. And now 
I'm going to use the Add Polygon Feature tool and I'm just going to left click, click, click. So I'm left clicking, just like drawing a shape in PowerPoint or whatever. I'm left clicking around all these settlements because I want to calculate the population within them. Okay, so I'm doing this. And then when I'm finished and I want to finish the shape, I right click. I can enter any number in the ID box. I'll just hit one and I'll click OK. And the last thing is to turn editing off. You can either hit the toggle editing button or you can right click on a layer and choose toggle editing. Then hit save. I'm just going to double click on my shape because I want to have a transparent fill and I just want a bright outline so I can see it on the map. Okay, so now I want to know what the population is within this area. To do that, I'll just turn on the processing toolbox via the little cog button and I'll type in zonal. Oops, spell it correctly, zonal. Zonal statistics, it's part of the raster analysis toolbox. So I'll double click it. The input layer is Mexico shape one. That's the shape I created. The raster layer is the Mexico population data. I can leave the next one blank or with it's got an underscore in it so that's fine statistics to calculate I don't want to count everything here I just want to count the sum because I want the total population I don't want the mean population of each cell I could add the count but in this case I just want the sum but you can see you've got a lot of options there and then I am going to save this to a geo package in my files folder and I'll just call it mex urban population test save I'll usually put in the same name into the layer name box but if you leave it as output that's fine it doesn't matter click OK and I'm going to run this and it should be very quick and we get a new layer and if I open the attribute table for that layer what we get is in the sum column we get a value. Now, if you look at that closely, it says 31,952,318. And last of all, let's just label this. So I will make it a transparent fill with a white border. I'll go to labels, I'll go to single labels, and we're gonna label it with sum, but what we're gonna do is click the expression box, and we're gonna type in format, underscore number and open bracket and decimal places will be zero and what I'll do is I'll type in population in single quotes and space after it you know, colon space after it single quotes and then I need to put in the string concatenation operator and I'll click OK. I'll change the font to white and I'll click OK. And the last thing I think I probably need to do here is just to make this text bigger. So let's make it size 16 bold. And finally, I can move that. So that is a little workflow for getting population data for any country in the world into QGIS, then drawing a shape, any shape you like, and then calculating the population within that area using zonal statistics in the processing toolbox. There are many different applications for that. Calculating populations is, is one of the most common ones, but hopefully you will find that useful.